hello everyone um, we are going to have a tutorial on model maker this is going to be the first first tutorial I'm going to do for model maker for beginners if you have never used model maker before and you're in school we shall be helping each other at least learn one or two things so whenever you have model maker installed and then you open it the first window that will pop up is this one here just say okay and then there's this window that will pop up since we are not using a licensed version we have a demo version we shall always be running in demo so whenever this uh, whenever this window shows up just run in demo and say okay okay so um, whenever you open model maker the first thing that you see on your workspace are grids when it opens you have grids like this we don't use them and we will not use them for any of our videos unless maybe when you need them otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to remove these grids so that we have a plain working space how do we do it we go to the top right corner there's uh, this grid display just click on it it will go if you want to use them for whatever reasons you can still put them there but for my videos we won't be using them okay let's quickly run through the very basics in which I'll be using the icons and uh, uh, other menus there so to explain how we're going to be working okay so I'm more of cadastral survey um, than engineering and the other surveys that are there so uh, I'll base most of my 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 videos on cadastral survey so for starters we shall start with these functions here I'll look at a few of them that we use in cadastral survey we have the point function here the point function so whenever you trick you you click these uh, icons on on the far left here your options will come on the drop down menu here what I mean is this so if we go for a point function have you seen that there's some new 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 drop down keys that have come down there so in our videos to come we shall use a uh, point add move delete and do ID for our point functions how does point function work we if if you have to do anything with a point this is our menu that we're going to be using you want to add a point just you want to add a point a single point and then you can add your point there and name it whatever you can name it there we go we want to move the point just click on the move and we shall be able to move that point to wherever we want it to move to so delete is the same thing id we shall get into details for this one in another video okay so um the next window or the next um, function is the paper window function this mostly we use it when we want to print sketches and put uh, our drawings to scale for printing purposes so we shall talk about this stage but we shall mostly use uh, a new position and clear and scale these are the three things we're going to be using in our videos to come the next one is uh, on the survey or cut function rather I like calling them the magic pencils <laughs> here we will have, we'll have to also look at uh, ID we'll look at ID we'll look at dimension we'll look at patterns we'll look at uh, text circle lines we shall get into details for these ones then the most important one uh, that we'll get to and we'll use more often is uh, the survey function that looks like a tripod eh? yes the survey function so we will use mostly join polar area and convert in this in this survey function okay so these are functions that we're going to be using as we go the next thing that we have to know is um, on the line menu these are the line menus if you want to add a line you can just simply add a line from there to there or from point to point it's got a lot of options which we'll take a look at them in a while in the next video we shall look at these Okay, so uh, we've got line edit. Line edit works when you want to edit the line. For example, you want to change this color to maybe say green. You can say edit the line and then there we go. We've edited the line. 
this is line delete so if you want to remove the line just click on that and then the line will click on the line then to delete line move is the same thing and to move the line to somewhere it's as easy as that line trim works in if you have um, let's say a line like that and then you want to to trim it we'll say line trim and then we shall get into details for this one we shall get into details for this one so let's just uh, just giving you uh, simple simpler or simpler uh, explanations for for these functions down here we've got the text functions you want to add a text you can put it there and give it whatever name you want to give it and then we can put a height over there and then you can put the, the width of the text and you can say okay your text will pop up like that yeah then whenever you want to edit a text just go there click on it the menu will come back you want to change the color maybe it's not visible enough you want to change to suit your your visibility you can still edit through like that okay the next thing we're going to look at is uh, line move as we all know line move is the same thing that we've been doing moving and stuff okay so i'll skip to circle functions these are circle functions when you want to add the circle just click on the circle it will bring a window we shall get into details for these as well but yes this is where you add the circle this is where you edit a circle this is where you delete a circle this is where you move the circle okay um we shall talk about these shortcuts later at some point i won't talk about the triangle one unless when you're doing um uh, volume volume calculations okay the other menus that are important are freehand which is also complemented with the dtm point function what do these two do i'll start with freehand freehand you can snap anywhere you want you won't have uh, a certain point where you need to snap it will just take you anywhere where you click to it will agree to whatever you're clicking to if i was adding the way i added this 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 point here I was using freehand because uh, I just added it anywhere I wanted to add it. Okay. Unlike DTM, DTM works in such a way that when you want to to highlight a text like this one, for example, if I want to edit this text, I'll go to point function. That the, rather the point, not the text. Point function. When this one comes in, just say run in demo. So a point. If my DTM was not on, for example, it's in freehand this when i go closer to this to this text or the the point it won't snap so wherever you click it won't snap unless you have your your dtm on you can even see if i click here it will come there and then i can i can do whatever i want to do with this if i put free hand let me see sorry sorry if i put free hand Oh, okay i think something is wrong okay but then yeah that's that's how those things work we shall look at um the end point of a circle we shall look at uh, all these icons later on a practical basis as we as we go then the other important thing we'll look at is file file we have uh, how we can open a job how we can import a job how we can export a job to AutoCAD to whatever from Notepad, we shall look at this in the next lecture. Data, we shall look at how we can deal with data, especially points. We shall work more on points as we go on in the next videos. We shall also look at output in terms of exporting from um, model maker files to DXF, DWG, that means AutoCAD, and uh, other, other, other files on settings i would like to just stress out one thing settings is important when you are opening the your job we've got two systems especially in zambia lo and utm and which one is in the northern hemisphere the other one is in the southern hemisphere so if you are having a job in lo you have to open it the, the the model maker in the southern hemisphere so whenever you open this and you clear your grids uh, the thing you want to do next is go to settings and go to configuration then if you're working in oh 
choose southern hemisphere and say okay when this one comes as usual just run it in demo yeah like that then you even see here it will change 360 s for south if you are in utm just go north and say okay and it will say 360 north so meaning you're working in utm okay the other thing is on code and card we shall use these two as we're going just want to introduce them to you codes is mostly points if i click on this you see my try one a has gone if i snap it it will be back so this is for for points code is for points if you want to see your points you can just leave it there if you don't see your points you're doing something else the points are disturbing you just uh, it's, more, it's not deleting them per se it's uh, just hiding them from your visual space then card is lines if you click on card see my lines have gone in text you only have points remaining so if the lines are making you um, not do whatever you are intending to do you can just hide them and then bring them back at some point okay the other thing I want to do is uh, talk about the cursor. There are some people who wouldn't be able to see my small cursor with a plus there. You can enlarge it like that. It becomes uh, as visible as possible. Or the way I like it, uh, a smaller version of, of the cursor. So um, this was my first video. We shall do another video on how to let's say import import data to to your model maker so yeah see you next time